Hi, it's Hannah from Grounded Life. Today's video aims to support anybody who is finding it challenging to sit down and focus on their breathing practice or to create time for their breathing practice. Anybody who finds that they get distracted really easily. Before we dive in, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified when new content is released. So what is the main thing that distracts you from even getting your bottom on a cushion to breathe? Is it time, energy, focus or interest? It's an old Buddhist saying that you should meditate for 20 minutes a day. And if you're too busy to do that, then you should really meditate for an hour. And I do agree with that, but it's easier said than done. Something you will never hear me say or ask you to do is to empty your mind or please clear your thoughts because for most of us that is pretty much impossible. One of the things that we are already complete masters at is the art of distraction and constant constant thinking. This is 120 million percent supported by a culture that bombards us with information all trying to get our attention at once our attention that is diminishing as time goes on. And it's now said that our attention span has reduced dramatically over the last 10 years. And on average, we now zone out after about eight seconds, which is actually less than a goldfish. So conscious breathing really helps to improve our focus and to lengthen and improve our attention spans. But how do we get past this constant distraction that we might experience when coming to our breathing practice? Firstly, I would really, really love to know what it is that distracts you from being present with your breath. What kind of narrative are you observing in your mind? Are you able to witness it, to observe it? It can be very telling. The conditions for you to sit down peacefully and do your breathing are very rarely ever going to be perfect. The key to success is to make it a habit, is to make it something that you start getting used to doing in your day, like brushing your teeth, and that you start prioritizing it as part of your well-being. And if you do commit to doing a little bit every day, you will start to see the benefits and that will encourage you to sit and be with your breath more. Today's practice is in full acceptance that you are going to get distracted. And that's okay, you're gonna do it anyway. And today's practice is gonna be in full acceptance that maybe you don't have enough time to do this. But that's okay too, because you've made it this far in the video, so you can make it for five minutes more, knowing that it's really gonna benefit you and nourish your being. And today's practice is also going to be in full acceptance that there might be a feeling of resistance inside of you that makes you feel like you don't want to sit and do this. And that is also okay because we're just going to breathe with however we're feeling. So however you're feeling is perfect for your breathing practice. If you do feel a sense of resistance, it might be a little bit uncomfortable at first, but trust me, when you get into it, it will be well, well worth it. So, are you ready to breathe? Take a seat in a safe place where you're unlikely to be disturbed for five minutes. Roll the shoulders back, honor the natural curves of the spine, soften the face, soften the jaw, Gently close the eyes and bring your attention to your breath. So just place one hand on the tummy over the belly button and one hand on the upper chest. Breathe. Just breathe normally. Don't change how you're breathing, just breathe your normal breath. Where is your breath going? Which hand is moving? 
Is your tummy moving or your upper chest moving? Just notice. And we are going to use both of these places and spaces to breathe into today. And we're going to inhale twice and exhale once. So we're going to inhale into the tummy, inhale into the chest, exhale, inhale into the tummy, inhale into the chest, exhale, inhale into the tummy, inhale into the chest, exhale. And let's start to do that more seamlessly. So two breaths in and exhale. And we're going to connect the breaths. So there's no pause at the bottom of the breath and there's no pause at the top of the breath. It's almost circular. Two in and then out. Two in, one in the tummy, one in the chest and out. Okay, so you're making sure that the breath goes in a little deeper by breathing into the tummy first and then into the chest and then slowly out. But before the exhale gets to the bottom, you're already picking it up again with the inhale. So it's like a circular breath. There's no pauses in between. Relax the face, relax the shoulders, relax the hips and the tummy. Just settle in. Start to find your rhythm with your breath. Notice those initial distractions. Notice what they are, where they take you, and then just come back, just come back to really focusing with that commitment, that quality of commitment to your breath for a very, very short amount of time. You've got this. In full acceptance that your attention gets taken away, that there are feelings happening in your body, that time is a thing, or full acceptance of it, but we're going to breathe anyway. So just keep going. And perhaps you want to feel the breath coming in through the nostrils. How does that feel? Is it cool? Is it warm? Breathe in your own rhythm. Not too fast, not too slow. Find a happy, consistent pace. That Goldilocks measurements of just right. We're just going to do five more of these breaths. On your next exhale, exhale and hold the breath. So when you've let the air out of the body, don't force it out, don't blow it all out, just let it release the exhale and then hold. So we're holding after the exhale. Just notice the silence, listen. If there's any constriction that happens, just offer Invite a little bit of softness, maybe in the throat, maybe in the forehead, in the shoulders. Don't go past any point of real discomfort when you need to breathe, breathe. So take a nice inhale through the nose and exhale. We're going to do this again. This time for a round of 20 breaths before going into our breath hold. So breathing two in.
not focusing so much on the fact that you've got two breaths in, but rather joining them more together. So the inhale is more fluid, but more expansive, more embodied. So that inhale is just becoming bigger as you join the two together. And the exhale, a real softening, a real softening into the exhale. And the inhale being quite vibrant, being quite alive. So just do it in your own time. I'll be breathing at a different pace to you. You've got to tune in to how you breathe. This is the important thing. And how are those feelings of resistance? And how is that distraction? Can you just offer it a little bit of acknowledgement, a bit of love, a bit of presence? Just keep breathing. Making sure both hands are feeling the effects of your breath and as your body moves to expand with the breath and relax with the breath. If you can't feel your hands move on top of your body, then perhaps invite a little bit of a bigger breath in. Let the breaths be purposeful and expansive. They don't need to be rushed or forced or anything like that. They are soft and steady, but purposeful and expansive. Keep going. Let's just do five more together. Notice how your body moves with the breath. Any areas of tension, any areas that feel really pleasant, any areas that feel free, any areas that feel fuzzy. What is going on for you right now in your body? Just in the language of sensation. Don't analyze or try and bring a story into anything. And if you do, just notice it's there, a little bit of distraction, and we just come back to the breath in full acceptance that it's there and it will come back, but it's okay, because we're just gonna keep breathing. Okay, we've definitely done our five. So we're gonna inhale. We're gonna exhale softly, just let everything go. Hold at the bottom. Just hold, don't force, just hold. Witness the stillness, the silence, or maybe the noise. Or the movement. What is going on for you? How does it feel to be breathless? in this moment, softening into any areas that you feel a contraction coming. Just soften, allow. And when you feel to breathe, then you breathe. Taking an inhale in. If you want to hold it for longer then do. Just hold at the top for a second and then exhale. Relax the jaw, ah, even a sigh. Let's take another deep inhale in. Exhale with a sigh. Ah, ah, really relax the jaw. Ah, great. If you can't make a noise wherever you're breathing, just relax the jaw. One more time. Exhale. Ah. Mm. Breathing normally through the nose. Just breathe, come back to your normal breathing, your habitual breathing. Notice, are your hands, which one of your hands is moving? Is it different from before? Is it the same? From when we did this at the beginning, 
of both hands being moved with the breath now. Notice how it feels to have your hands connected to these parts of you, to your heart, to your abdomen, to your solar plexus. Can you feel warmth of your hands? And you are coming to the close of your practice. So gently putting your hands maybe in prayer or to the heart center, whatever feels good for you. And just take a brief but very important bow in honor of yourself for carving out the time to connect with your breath in this way. Little and often builds a really, really stable foundation for a bigger meditation and breathwork practice. Two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, every day is a good place to start. It is the doing it despite of distraction and resistance that is the key to unlocking the door into some very beautiful places. Thank you for joining me. I would love you to share a word of how you're feeling after doing this breath practice in the comments box below. Whatever that is, all is welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell for any notifications. And please check out some of these other suggested videos. See you next time. Start breathing now and stay grounded.